Hey folks, still in the section dealing with special triangles. And so special triangle number two is going to be the 45, 45, 90 triangle. You'll notice I've got an example down here of the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Remember in the last video, we talked about the concept of in triangles, the small side will always be opposite the small angle, medium opposite medium, large opposite large. Well here, if you've got two angles that are exactly the same, then what would you conclude would be true about the two sides that are opposite those identical angles? Okay, so you're probably correct in saying that if the two angles are going to be exactly the same measure, then the sides opposite will also be the same measure. And so what we have here is that if our hypotenuse is equal to one, like it is on the unit circle, like it was back on the first special triangle, then both of the legs are going to equal root two over two. Now I've shown some work on how, just by using the Pythagorean theorem, how I came to that number. Go ahead and take your time and you can pause the video and take a look at that work. But what that means then is that if my hypotenuse is one over here on my picture, then both of the legs will always be the value of root two over two. So the embedded question for this particular video is to take a look at examples five, six, and seven, and using the triangle up above and using what we learned back in section 9.2 with our six trigonometric functions, go ahead and find these three trig functions that you've been given in examples five, six, and seven.